everyone, welcome back to Miss Howell's Learning Channel. Today we're going to be focusing on two digit subtraction without regrouping. We're going to be using the strategy expanded form, sometimes known as partial differences. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions and I hope you enjoy. So today we're going to be subtracting 23 from 85. So this is a two digit problem. So I'm going to draw my arrows to show where I'm going to expand out those numbers. And then as usual, I'm going to draw my placeholders. I have a two digit problem, so I am drawing two lines to represent each digit. So for 23, I have a line for my tens and a line for my ones. Now you see that I have addition symbols everywhere. Um, you use these regardless when you expand a number out, um, regardless if it is a subtraction or an addition problem. So I'm going to rewrite my subtraction problem there just to remind myself that I am subtracting despite the addition symbols you see. I'm drawing my placeholder for my answer, making sure my columns are lined up. And then I'm going to go ahead and start expanding out those numbers. So I have 85. So I'm going to draw 80 in my tens column and five in my ones column. Then I'm gonna expand out 23, 20 in my tens column and three in my ones column. Now, remember you are subtracting regardless of how many addition symbols you see, you are subtracting. So I'm going to take three away from five, which is going to leave two ones and then I'm gonna look at my tens column. I'm gonna take 20 away from 80, which is going to equal 60. Then when I rejoin that expanded number together, I'm adding the tens and ones column back together to equal 62, and that is your final answer. The addition symbols can make it confusing, but once you get it down, it is pretty simple. Mm -hmm. 